Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought stained glass would be a really, really good way to connect to the um, depths of our sense perceptions on the spot. Blue stained glass, yellow stained glass. How they complement. I wanted to try as a project how it would be to work with visual as well as oral. triggers. I really like how the uh, colors almost seem wet. I found these in a, in a bag that I bought off of Etsy. They're really amazing how they work with the light, how light casts from them, how the light ricochets from one piece of stained glass to the other. I was thinking that we could try a little exercise. I call it the three steps to manifest relaxation, mindfulness, and contentment. In and of themselves, they're not separate things. But a lot of this is beginning to explore our perceptions without apology. What I mean by apology is experiencing what is in our field of sight or you know, what we're hearing, feeling without having to change or manipulate that. Because when we do, it tends to leave us in a state of, of goal, goal orientation, and then our life very easily becomes a big project, you know, trying to get from A to B, and not really concerned with what's in between. I know from example. <laughs> so let's try this. As I'm stacking these stained glass pieces and shifting them and moving them, let's try the first step, which is Release whatever it is that you're holding on to or anything that you're conceptualizing right now. Whatever it is that you're trying to figure out, let go of that on the spot right now. You're not 
pushing it away, but release it. Release your care of trying to figure your entire existence out just right now. That's step one. Step two. In this case, within this exercise, pick a color, just look at it, and really see it, connect to it, allow it to talk to you. to allow yourself to receive what you are seeing in your visual field. Then drop the technique altogether and simply be with what is there. mind really, really yearns to have a simple experience, to fully relax into simplicity. Simplicity is quite difficult nowadays, isn't it? So, let's try that again, a little faster maybe. So, step one, let go, release whatever it is you're thinking about. a color and really look at it, meaning fully receive that color within the field of your vision without bias, without any ifs, ands, or buts. Hold your attention there briefly. Then drop the technique altogether and simply be with what is there, meaning what you're experiencing, what you're feeling within your body, in your field of your other sense perception. So, allow yourself to just settle down into the full attention of a specific color. That's what we're trying to do here in this experiment, in this video. Let the crispness, the vibrancy touch you magnetize even, you know, even, and receive the color or shape, allow it to dawn on your awareness, and really let the magic of your full attention ripen in your being, really. We are so capable of connecting so fully with 
our sense perceptions, otherwise known as our world. And when we do so, a kind of wholesomeness takes place in quite a profound way. Wholesome meaning a whole quality of experience. You know, doing this puts a brief pause to our habitual tendencies of, of getting caught up in thoughts, daydreams, and all sorts of other conceptual roadblocks that keep us from the raw vibrancy of the present moment. It allows us to momentarily release from trying to figure out the rest of our lives. Doesn't that sound like a relief? So we allow the visuals to be an anchor to come back to the present moment. And obviously this can happen with our other sense perceptions as well. We can begin to work with our mind and our experience in such a way that whatever it is that we come across, it could be a mirror and um, um, a re recognition um, of the present moment so everyday objects everyday situations can be um, a trigger to actually pop back to nowness it takes a lot of training in doing that but um, that's why it's called practice right we're all constantly trying to um, navigate through our everyday lives and do the best we can with being content. Look at the stained glass. It's quite impressive, actually, if I, if I must say really stately, really regal. It's, uh, it holds no apologies in its color, right? Blue knows how to be blue. Green simply is fully green. Yellow unbashably yellow. In fact, they almost look like Jolly Ranchers. Do you remember those candies? <laughs> Didn't even think about that until now. They're not exactly the same shape because Jolly Ranchers are more uh, rectangular, I suppose. And I don't even know if they exist anymore. I suppose they do. That would be a nice video. I should get a video where I work with Jolly Rancher relaxation. That could be the next one. <laughs> so when we fully connect to our sense perceptions, it kind of boomerangs back to us. There's a play that begins to take place 
um, a plainness rather within us and our world. It requires us to be uh, almost naive in not judging, not trying to grasp, not trying to push away a color, in this case, for instance, that we don't like, but in fully accepting the red, the white background, how the yellow shadow plays off of the white background, the green lime and elongated rectangle. has those little stripes of shade in it. This can be very powerful because before we know it, we just might find ourselves possibly enjoying and fully being present for other things our morning coffee, right, tasting the coffee of coffee, the, the toast, the toastiness of toast, the crackerness of crackers, and the juiciness of juice. I'm really happy and I'm really glad that there can be such a platform to allow us to just share together like this and to begin to develop the understanding that this is very, very meaningful, right? In a world that often kind of goes the way of speediness and efficiency and multitasking and that we just don't have exactly enough that we need more this is the manuscript of now being fully present. This is the manuscript of now. Let go. Be. Connect. Then rest. This is the manuscript of now. We are capable of a completely wide open blank slate.